Um, uh, can we kind of throw out some some thoughts and suggestions mm -hmm. to kind of uh, bring us back in the world of cool where we have been hanging all morning long? Uh, I realize this is more of a straight ahead mm -hmm. kind of power ballady thing. Um, Will some guitar overdubs help though? I think at some level, yeah. I think I think slowing the tempo down will help. It seemed very forced and very rushed to me. Okay. Uh, yeah. A tad um, bit, yeah. You know, one of the things that I thought about, uh, Steve, and you, I think you did a little bit. Can I ask you the lyrics, please? Yes. Um, so take some risk and time you'll find some. Uh, maybe at the end of the chorus, and I'll have to figure out where on the chart this happens. It says, sometimes you fall. It might be cool is if we all just kind of diamond or kind of fall out when he hits. Sometimes you fall. That's beat three. Before you f yeah. in the, and then we all come back in on fly. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Where is that? Yeah, yeah, it's beat the three of, of the last bar of the chorus at five chorus. over seven. Say that again for everyone, please. Beat three of the last bar of the chorus. The that five over seven is where you were speaking of. What's that? Insert. I, I think we should all just kind of, you know. Diamond or. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, but I don't even know if it's a diamond per se. I think it's like, you know, almost a bit of a break. Mm -hmm. Maybe a fall off kind of a thing. Just to kind of yep. go musically with, with, with what's happening lyrically. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you fall before you. And then boom, then we're back in it. Okay. Fly. That's kind of cool. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, okay. exactly. That's at the end of the first chorus. Yeah. Yeah, at the first chorus. Yeah. And should that is is the is beat three of those verse changes? Is it a true five over seven or is it more of a one over seven or kind of a conglomerate chord? It's kind of a, one of those. One of those. Yeah, because it needs some chord. dissonance, I think. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It's one of them deals. Our turnaround uh, is is big after that first chorus. Say it doesn't. No, it doesn't have to be. Um, I'm just asking. Like, well, but uh, this for the dynamic. Where do you hear that? Yeah, let me think about it. Are you hearing the first chorus being big? No, I'm not. I, I think the way you treated it w was good. But I think if everyone else, if we can do that kind of, that pause, that break, whatever, on that uh, beat three, that'd be cool. And then we can all, and then maybe like Blair kind of comes back in on, uh, before you find ding, 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 ding. Oh. Yeah, and then, and, then, uh, and then maybe you come back in strong, Steve, at verse two. Yeah. But I mean, I, I I did like just kind of like the um, uh, eighth note tom kind of thing. It just seems like it's kind of some more modern, simplistic kind of rock kind of thing. I dig it. Kind of did that up yeah, until did. the second verse, and then I kind of opened it up. Yeah. Is that? Yeah, I, I love that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hey, uh, what about the ba da? That that seems like that might be a little dated. Uh, yeah, like, why don't we straighten that out? Good. Just the even split match. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And is, is the outro return to no drums kind of feeling thing. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't we do that? All right. You like my little I love that. I love. Blair, I love your little piano thing. Nice. 